Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Damble Updates. Today we have a brand new game, Logic Box version 1.0. Now, uh, this, I actually forgot this game's a title screen. One moment. No, it doesn't. Okay, so this is actually a really cool game. Um, it's basically Pacross or Nautogram. Um, I call it Pacross personally, if you've um, never heard of this before. But basically what it is, is um, it's a little bit like Sudoku in that it's a logic puzzle. And, um, you know, I've actually been seeing um, the Dan Ball team make a lot of, um, <laughs> make a lot of these, like, sort of puzzle games. Oh, like, it's high again. <laughs> I've been seeing the, the Dan Ball team make a lot of these puzzle games in recent memory. I think they made, like, some crazy um, Minesweeper kind of game earlier. I guess I could show this game off just by going through, like, a, like a small game of it and showing how you're actually meant to play it. So how this game works is, um, <laughs> think of this as, like, a glorified Pacross tutorial, but basically how this game works is um, you have an option to fill in um, different uh, different squares as black. However, as you might be able to see up here, you can only fill in so many. And um, the reason why I compare this to Sudoku is because um, you need um, because um, you need to actually um, you need to actually fill these in so they match up with these numbers. Like for example, in this column, only two of these can be lit up. That's the only way it will make sense. Um, now, how these ones work, the ones where the numbers are separated, basically it means that, like, they have to be separated. So, that could be a potential possibility right here. However, I don't think that's it. I actually know what all three of these are because I played through them earlier. I'm only going to play through the first one right now. They're all um, Stick Ranger related, which I think is kind of fun because most of the stuff from the site is pixel art anyway. <laughs> so, if they're going to add more levels, might as well uh, theme it. So anyway, um, a really good way to start is to look for really obvious ones like this. Like, for example, this one, this is a 12. However, if you look up here, the puzzle is 12 columns across. So basically, all of these need to be, uh, need to be on, or all of these need to be black. And I will give them credit. One thing they did add, um, they made it so you can straight up, like, drag. You only drag horizontally or vertically, not up or not both at the same time. So all of those need to be lit up. And also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And uh, this is a 7 right here, which means all of these need to be lit up as well. Now, here's where it gets kind of interesting. Um, now, it's obvious that both of these are that since this is a 2 and since there's no, like, space in between them, that means this little light up has to go either here or right here. Um, I forgot exactly how I did this, though. Or, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4... I kind of forgot this. I think I mostly like guessed for some of the first one because I was very, very new to this. Uh, this is actually my first time ever taking um, this particular game seriously. I've never really uh, played it much beforehand. Hmm. One, two, three. That's not gonna work. I think like this down here. Yeah, I think that's correct. Which means that would fill in for that as well. And since these are twos, that would basically mean that these two have to be filled in. Okay. So we have the four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So that's those set down. See how this works? And now these are touching the bottom. So in order to line up with the six, that would mean that that, that and that have to be filled in as well. And uh, you know what? So can these. This is a symmetrical piece, which basically means that they have to be... Um, that, that, that basically means that they have to be equal on both sides. Um, and that more or less means that you only need to solve like half the puzzle, in my opinion. And I think the last three are up here. Yep, there we go. It's, uh, it's, I think this is a um, Kusanochi? It's, uh, I know this is the monster from Monster Box, but yeah, that's basically it right here. There are three levels available. I'm not going to play through all three right now. This one is a sword, and uh, this one is a ranger from Stickman. It's very intricate. You actually saw the um, the solution at the very start of this video. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll I recommend you go try this game out. Um, see, uh, tell me how uh, tell me how you fare if you can complete all three of them or not. So until next time, I'm very curious to see what they might add to this. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.